has been getting really cold, so I just wanted to do a fall look. Um, it's really simple. I'm just using my Urban Decay Naked Palette that I recently purchased. And so I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the rest of the video. So you're going to first start off with a clean face. Um, I've applied the Benefit That Gal. It's a primer. And I've just applied it all over my face. Now we're just going to get started with our air cushion from Iope. It's a sunblock um, air cushion pack. So it includes sunblock as well as um, foundation for your face. Just think of it as a foundation. And there's a little puff in here. And you're just going to puff that in like that. And apply it over your face. Now that you've finished applying foundation, you're going to be applying powder loose foundation. This is a mineral loose powder foundation. Um, it just gives a very sheer uh, coverage to your face. You don't want to cake your face, but you want to have that matte look. So I'm going to go ahead with my kabuki brush and get some foundation on there. Now we're going to draw in our eyebrows. Um, this is the Iope eyebrow kit that I always use in my tutorials. It's a shadow type. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the first light color. Starting from the inner corners of my brow. Then taking the darker color and filling in the outside. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And I'm just going to take a look. I have crooked eyebrows, so it's kind of hard to match them exactly the same. But you want to get it as even as much as you can. And next I'm going to take my Naked palette. This is my first time using uh, my Naked palette in any of my tutorials. I'm excited to use it. Getting my Naked palette brush. I'm going to go in with the half-baked color right there. I'm going to dab it on my brush and apply it all over my lids. Doing the same to my other eye. I'm going to dab it all over my lids. And the next color that I'm going to take is the Dark Horse. Um, it's right there, the Dark Horse. And dab it a little. Make sure it's not too much or else it's going to come out really dark. I'm going to make a cat shape, like a half moon shape, like that. The outer shape is going to be a half moon shape. I'm just going to blend that in there. This is how it looks so far. Now I'm just going to take my e.l.f. eyeliner and I'm going to line my eyes to give it, give it more definition. And we're just going to finish up the eyes with a mascara. This is from Maybelline. It's the Lash Stiletto Volume Volutus. It's one of my favorite mascaras right now. It has this curved shape. I'm just going to go right ahead and apply it in my eyes. I'm just going to wiggle it around a bit to apply it better. That's my finished look for the eyes. 
And for the lips, um, burgundy color is one of the trend colors for the lips for the fall. So this is from Sephora and it's just a burgundy color. Just gonna go right ahead and apply that on. It has a really sheer color. For a finishing look, I'm just going to get the Victoria's Secrets bronzer and I'm just going to apply that on to my cheeks. Slightly give that warm feeling. And one last thing before finishing the look, I'm just going to take my Buck color. It's a very matte color. And it's a little bit darker than my, well it's a lot darker than my um, normal skin tone and I'm just going to apply that near my nose to give that depth, to give that illusion that my nose bridges, my nose bridge is higher. I have a really low nose bridge so I'm just going to do that. Makeup really does wonders. <laughs> just apply that on. And just get a scarf and put it around your neck to give that fall look. And you're finished. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye. Oh, you love her. Oh, you love her. Say cheese.